neat DIYs with napkins. I have a different respect for napkins and what they can do to make something dull, bright, and useful. Napkins are more useful than to wipe your mouth or put in your lap to keep your clothes from getting soiled. I had so much fun with this project that plans are in the making to do some more unusual DIYs with napkins. I am participating in a napkin exchange today, so make sure to comment on all of the videos for a chance to win some tools. This is a collaboration hosted by Sunflowers and DIY and co-hosted by Teresa B. DIY. Sarah at Sunflowers and DIY is a chalk couture designer. She loves sunflowers and paints them when she gets the time. In addition, she likes farmhouse DIYs and collaborations. She is so kind. Teresa B. is also a chalk couture designer and she loves the craft. You can certainly be inspired by her creativity and more. So be sure to follow them and all of the other wonderful collaborator crafters. And the link to the playlist is listed below. So let's get on to crafting. I was sent several napkins by Teresa Treasure, and I must say she did a great job. So my first DIY are placemats, and the supplies are napkins with a border that she sent and contact paper. That is it. So I use the napkins with the border. I opened them up and removed the layers. And then of course, I don't like wrinkled napkins even though I probably got a few of them a little wrinkled, but I ironed the napkins to avoid wrinkles. And then I cut the contact paper just slightly larger than the napkin. Now the challenging part is to lay out the napkin and then lay the contact paper on top and get it straight to avoid the wrinkles. Then flip it over and apply the other piece of contact paper on top. I also tried to apply the contact paper from the top, but to be honest, I needed another pair of hands. Once they are all on, you can trim the edges and grace your space for your tablescape. I added lemons and some blue and white dessert plates or salad plates on top of some clear dinnerware. So when you are finished, just wipe them off and use them again. This will be my summer vibe, especially for outside the summer. Now on to DIY number two. I made a greeting card. What? Out of a napkin? Yes, and it was easy also. The supplies needed are napkin with a motif, and I was sent a napkin with a truck that had a bed of flowers. I also used saran wrap, a card from cardstock, and you need an iron, of course, an ironing board or some type of surface that you can iron on, a pressing cloth, a stamp, or you can even write your own sentiment. The first thing you want to do is take your stamp with a sentiment such as missing you or hope you get well or something like that. And you stamp your card or you can use your own handwriting. If you got good handwriting, there's nothing wrong with that. Then you cut out the truck out of the napkin. And of course it comes with sometimes two or three layers. So you want to remove those and lay the truck on the card. Then you want to put some saran wrap over the card and then put a pressing cloth over that and then use a hot iron to melt the saran wrap. It will just kind of melt the truck right on into the paper. But before you remove the pressing cloth, you want to make sure that it is good and dry. Because if you don't, when you remove the pressing cloth while the card is still hot, your truck will come off with it. But if you wait till it cools off, the truck will be glued to the card. 
put it in an envelope and send it to someone in need of kindness. On to DIY number three. Now trays are so needed, especially when you're spending a lot of time outside in the summer. You can put your glasses of lemonade on it and take it outside to the patio or any outside space. So the supplies you need for this project include one plastic tray, and that's from Dollar Tree, some colorful napkins that was sent to me, Mod Podge mat, and dishwasher safe Mod Podge, and some scissors. Now the napkins on this tray are going to be placed on the opposite side of the tray so it can be wiped off and it can be food safe. So you take your napkin and of course again some of these napkins have two layers, some have three layers. You want to remove the layers, apply Mod Podge to the underside of the tray. Now you'll need to apply the napkins very carefully and smooth them as necessary to the entire tray and you will do that with the matte mod podge then you can look at it you might have to wait till it's dry or you can do it before and you since the tray is acrylic or plastic you can see through the spots where you may have missed uh, putting a napkin so you can do that once it is dry or if you can see it before you can do it before it's dry Remember, this is only done on the underside of the tray. Such beautiful napkins to use for a gorgeous tray. You style it and look at the results. So tell me what you think. If you make one, show on Instagram and tag me. And DIY number four. Now, I have a lot of dogs in my neighborhood that love me. And why shouldn't they? <laughs> so I made something for my favorite dog. The supplies needed are one white pail from Dollar Tree. And I use the napkins with the dogs in the bed of the truck and the license plate that says, I love you. And you need the matte Mod Podge. So this is simple to make. You want to cut around the truck including the dogs and the balloon. Now the balloon is on a very thin piece of paper, but I made it work. Once you have it all cut out, then you take off of the extra layers. Put some Mod Podge where the napkins will be adhered to the pail. Now I have heard that you can apply cellophane over the napkin to kind of make sure it adheres and then you won't have to worry about tears in your napkin. Now, I will try that sometimes, but I think I did okay. After the truck was adhered to the pail, I let it dry and applied Mod Podge to the napkin. And with this one, I also used the dishwasher safe with this so that you can just throw it in the dishwasher and the napkin will not come off. I put some homemade dog bones in the pail and these were made by a high school student and then I put them in a cellophane bag and tied them up with a little bow and I put the entire pail in some cellophane and tied it with a bow and gave it to my favorite neighborhood doggy for their birthday. So, so cute. I could not help myself so I just kept going until I had used something on every napkin. I also made some coasters for the owner made from the same motif to protect their furniture and this was made out of the contact paper also. It turned out really cute and nice so when they've got their dog at home and playing with their dog and they're drinking something they can protect their furniture. So here it is number five spring summer candle holder. The supplies needed include an empty glass candle holder, frosted spray, napkins with hydrangeas, Mod Podge, 
and a candle. You can use a floating or you can use something else. The first thing you want to do is to make sure the container is clean. Then spray with Rust-Oleum Imagine. This is a frosted glass spray and it is so pretty. And then you let it dry. You want to cut out your hydrangeas, move the layers and glue to your container with Mod Podge. Add water to your container and a floating candle or skip the water and just add a larger candle. Whatever you do, it is a fantastic way to display your candle or have some ambient lighting and snuff it out and use it for a later time. The last DIY, not least, but it is my favorite. It is a cupcake holder. The supplies needed are one dessert plate, and this is a plastic plate from Dollar Tree, a footed plastic bowl from Dollar Tree, and I could only find them in pink, Krylon white mat spray, napkins, a bottle cap, an acrylic knob, light purple jewels, a glass candle holder, that's from Dollar Tree, a wood burning tool, and E6000. The dessert plate and the footed bowl needs to be sprayed white because it is pink. If it was clear, it would not need to be spray painted. For the top, which would be the foot part of the footed bowl, it needs to be removed. And the way I did this, I used a my wood burning tool, or if you have a, I know some people have a hot knife to cut it off. Then it can be covered with the napkin. Now I did the opposite. I covered with the napkin and then I cut it off. You want to cut the napkin a little bit smaller to make sure it fits around the plate. It's your dessert plate and have it ready to use Mod Podge to adhere the napkin. Now once the spray is dry, then the dessert plate, it can be coated with Mod Podge and the napkins applied to the plate and the topper. After it is dry, you can apply more Mod Podge to the plate, but it will change the color of the napkin. So be careful. Uh, sometimes, you know, it may not need anything unless you don't mind a, a kind of a muted color for your napkin. Then the glass handle holder is glued with E6000 to the base of the plate. Now to put the knob on, I use a bottle top large enough to cover the opening at the top because once you cut the foot part off, it's going to leave a hole. And so I found a bottle cap that was large enough to cover the opening. And then I glued an acrylic knob on top with E6000. But I, you know, I like to be a little extra. So I put some light purple jewels on it all around just the bottle cap with a bit of hot glue. And I put a cupcake cake inside and you have a yummy glam holder. Now, if you like what you've seen, please subscribe, save, like, and comment. Help a small subscriber out. I would love for you to join the Z9 Design family. I cannot thank you enough for the love you've shown me with your kind comments and subscribing. And remember, leave footprints of love and kindness wherever you go. This is from MindQuotes.com. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye. And I'm ending with a little Dollar Tree book that I covered with the napkin.